Welcome to the Tabletop Simulator tutorial series. I'm Kimiko from Berserk Games and this is part one in our series all about controls. Before you begin, I highly recommend checking out the mini tutorial on the main menu as it will go through all the basic controls in the game which I will be going over with you. If you press the question mark key on your keyboard, it will bring up the control scheme menu. You can also click on the menu at the top, then control scheme to bring it up. As you can see, there are a lot of different controls and commands, but that's what makes this so great because it enables you to do so much. The most basic controls are picking up, shaking, and throwing. To pick up an object, hover over it until you see it is highlighted, then press down on your left mouse button. To pick up multiple objects, while holding the first object, hover over a second object until it is highlighted and then press down on your right mouse button. You can do this as many times as you'd like. You can either look for the highlight on the objects or you can look at the shadow of the objects if you are at an odd angle. Additionally, you can pick up multiple objects by pressing down on your left mouse button and dragging around all the items you wish to pick up you will see a box highlighted around your objects. This is good if you wish to move multiple objects from one place to another without messing up the alignment. However, if you want to jumble them up, all you have to do is shake your hand. Dice are easy because all you have to do is pick it up, shake it, and then throw it. Just make sure you shake it enough so that it rolls properly. Have fun with the big group of dice shaking and throwing them. Another cool feature is if you need to pick the number of the die manually, you can do so without having to pick it up. Just hover over the die and then press any number combination. In this case, I'm just going in consecutive order, but you can see how the die is moving to the number that I have pressed. When you need to flip a card or object, all you need to do is mouse over or hold onto the object and press the F key or press down on the middle mouse button. To rotate an object, all you need to do is hold it and press the Q or E key, or you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. While we have a deck of cards out, let's talk about how you can use them. You can manually take a single card off the deck by grabbing and dragging at the same time. If you want to pick up the entire deck, just grab it and hold. Once you do it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. If you don't want to manually deal cards out, you can right click on the deck and you'll see a bunch of different commands that you can do. You can click on the deal button and it will deal one card to each person that is at your table. Each time you press the deal button, it will deal one card so you can press it however many times you like. When cards are dealt out, they are placed in an area in which we call your hand. Each person has their own hand and in that space, no one else can see your cards except for you. So when I change my color to red, you can see that I no longer see the cards in my old hand. Once red is given some cards and I switch to green, you can see that I can't see either hand now. So you can now play all kinds of card games just like you do in real life. You can also cut the deck in half, reset the deck, and search the deck. Searching the deck will turn it into a wheel with the red marker splitting the top card, which is the four in this case, and the bottom card, which is the king. You can search through the deck by moving your hand to either the right of the wheel or the left, and it will move in those directions. You can also move cards around in the search wheel to change the order around. Right click to stop the search, and you can see that the bottom card is the king, and the top card is the four. One last thing we'll go over in this tutorial are the camera controls. There are a few ways in which you can move your camera around. First, you can use the WASD keys to pan around and the arrow keys can be used to spin around the table. Or you can use your mouse to pan around by clicking your right mouse button. Using a combo of the WASD keys and your mouse gives you a lot of movement. If you find yourself in an awkward position and you aren't sure how to get back, you can press the spacebar to put your camera view back to default. If you want to get a close-up view of a specific spot on the table, just hover over it and press either the Z key or your middle mouse button. You can also use your scroll wheel to slowly zoom in and out. 
And finally, for those who prefer the first person view, just press P to toggle between third and first person. While in first person, the WASD keys give you a different perspective and movement. The spacebar is used to fly up, and the control key is used to fly down. I hope you enjoyed part one in our tutorial series and learned a bit more about how controls work. Our next tutorial will cover advanced controls. Yes, there are even more controls for you to learn. So stay tuned!